According to Wikipedia, I quote, Splash screens are typically used by large applications to notify the user that a program is in the process of loading. Splash screens provide feedback that a lengthy process is underway. Occasionally, a progress bar within the splash screen indicates loading progress. The splash screen disappears when the application's main window appears. If you currently own the DevExpress WinForm subscription, you already know that it ships with a powerful splash screen control, a UI component designed to do all the heavy lifting for your app. If you're new to DevExpress or are considering our product line for a future WinForms project, stay tuned and we'll show you why our WinForms splash screen makes splash screen generation an absolute breeze. Okay, first, a quick word about our next major update. Version 20.1 is set to ship in May 2020. Once released, our WinForms splash screen control will receive a major facelift and will include two entirely new splash screen design options. The first is a Fluent Splash Screen, a Windows 10 inspired splash screen that features the acrylic material effect with a partially transparent texture. The second is a skin based or themed splash screen, one that auto adjusts its appearance based on the current applied application skin or theme. In the first portion of this video tutorial, I'll show you how to use our version 20.1 skin based splash screen. In the second portion, I'll discuss use of our Fluent UI-based splash screen. And with that, let's get started. To display our new skin-based splash at application startup, you'll need to call our static splash screen manager dot show skin splash screen method. Likewise, if you wish to display the Fluent splash screen, you'll need to call splash screen manager dot show Fluent splash screen. As you can see in this sample project, I've handled the form load event and in it, I've called the method needed to display the splash screen. Once the splash screen is displayed, I execute a thread sleep operation. In a real app, you would replace this code with time consuming startup tasks, such as data load operations. The final step in this sequence is of course to call the splash screen managers close form method to dismiss the screen from view. Now let's go back and take a look at the show skin splash screen method and view its parameters. As you can see, the parameters list is exhaustive and includes items I have not set for purposes of this demo. For instance, I could have chosen to use fade in and fade out animations, or I could have directed my app to throw an exception if a splash screen is already displayed. Let me drill down into the parameters you're likely to use most. These are an image, title and subtitle, footer, and the text used for loading related text. Please remember that you'll always need to specify the appropriate parent form. Okay, with my parameters defined, it's time to run the app and see our skin based splash screen in action. Very good. This example used a basic DevExpress skin. It's time to spice things up a bit. If you're familiar with our WinForms product line, you know that we have an amazing collection of skins and application themes a nearly endless variety of ways with which to customize your WinForms app. Let's change the skin used for this app, and I'll show you how the skin-based splash screen adapts its appearance based on project-wide skin settings. I'll change the basic skin to Bezier, and then select the Cherry Ink color palette. I'll run this project so we can take a look at our new splash screen. All right, very cool. Our splash screen is now skinned using Bezier and the Cherry Ink palette. Let's return to the app and switch to a more standard application theme. In this instance, I'm going to select our Office 2019 black theme and specify Amber for the palette. Once again, I'll run the project. And there it is. Our splash screen is now skinned using the DevExpress Office 2019 black theme with the amber color palette. Cool, no code involved, just a project wide setting automatically adapts the splash screen to the app wide skin or theme. Okay, now it's time to discuss our extremely cool fluent UI splash screen. Step one, I need to comment out some code in this sample project and uncomment the code for our fluent splash screen. Like skin based splash screens, to display a fluent splash screen, I need to call the splash screen managers show fluent splash screen method. 
And like the skin-based method, Show Fluent Splash Screen offers a variety of parameters for customization purposes. Most of these parameters replicate those available for skin-based splash screens, but some are unique to the Fluent Splash Screen, Opacity being one example. Now I'm going to show you a different way to customize the Fluent Splash Screen. I'll use the Fluent Splash Screen options as my first parameter and let it do the heavy lifting for me. I've already written the code needed, so my first step is to uncomment this code block. As you can see, I have a Fluent Splash Screen Options object. This object includes all my splash screen settings, from title and subtitle to opacity level. Let me quickly add one more, opacity color, and set it to dark orange. Time to uncomment my Show Fluent Splash Screen method and display this splash screen. Since I'm using options, I have fewer parameters to specify. I'll remove the custom draw handler, and if I did not need to display a fade, I can also remove the use fade in and use fade out parameters. For this example, let's go ahead and keep the fade. And here it is, a fluent splash screen with its opacity color set to dark orange. Yep. Super easy to incorporate a fluent splash screen in any WinForms app. Now let's return to my code and remove dark orange. If you don't specify a value for opacity color, the control will use black by default. I'll quickly show you what that looks like. That's our fluent splash screen in black with an opacity of 130. With the basics of Fluent Splash Screen behind us, let's move to some more exciting things. We can use custom draw events to really make our Fluent Splash Screen stand out. I've already written some custom draw code, and I'm going to use it here. My custom draw method takes Fluent Splash Screen custom draw event args as an E parameter. In this method, I defined a linear gradient brush. The first color is black, and the second dark orange. Then I call fill rectangle to fill the splash screen with my linear gradient brush colors. And let's run the app to see how it looks. Okay, well maybe these were not the best color choices. No problem. I'll change colors once more. I'm going to switch to maroon. Cool, that's better. Now a quick note for those who want absolute control over their splash screen. Yes, you can use any custom paint method to paint your splash screen as needed. I've shown you custom draw, and as great as that option is, we think most of our users will be more than satisfied with standard opacity and opacity color parameters. Let me wrap up and make a final change to fluent splash screen options. I'm going to leave opacity at 130, and change opacity color to Dodger Blue. Time to run this project for a final time and see what our fluent splash screen looks like. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this introductory tutorial on the DevExpress WinForm splash screen control. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to get notifications for more great DevExpress training videos. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.